multiple sclerosis. It can lead you into thinking that one day it's gonna be great. And the next day, you have no idea what's happened. Northeast Ohio has one of the highest incident rates of anywhere in the country. My name is Kim Sellers, and most people know me simply. Being on the radio, I worked nearly 20 years in Cleveland. So the foundation was started back in uh, 2000. My mother had a very good friend of hers that had been diagnosed with MS. His life changed quite a bit and rather quickly. And I got a phone call about him, you know, telling me about his story. But then I found out that he had taken his life. And and I lived with the guilt for a very long time. And I just felt like and I made that one phone call to maybe give him a few words of encouragement. That just maybe, that could have changed his life. And I had to stop hiding. And then I had to share my story in hopes of helping and saving others. When I was diagnosed with MS, I noticed that my leg began to drag. So once I realized that something was different, that was when I um, went to the doctor and found out. Then it wasn't until I had my oldest daughter that I got the epidural, and after the epidural, things started to change. That walk became a, a limp. That limp became a drag. And that drag really became me losing my balance and looking for the next wall to try to hang on to. So it's, a, it's been a journey, it's no doubt. It's been a ride and people always ask me, well, do you regret you know, having kids? Absolutely not. I wouldn't change it for the world. So of course I've got four girls and uh, they are definitely the joy of my life. And if it meant me losing my ability to walk, it's no doubt been worth it. So that's my story. Meet the people that I know and love who happen just to have multiple sclerosis. Hi, I'm Tracy Bonner. Uh, I am married for 30 years. I have two children, 27 and 28. I was diagnosed in March of 2014. Um, I had gait issues and then it progressed to drop foot. Then it progressed um, to weakness on my left side including my arm, numbness, tingling, stuff like that. Spasticity is the biggest issue that I have now. I took a little leave and I was in a bad state for maybe about a month or two. But my pivot actually came around, I'm going to say honestly, in around 2016. When my son came home from college, he actually said to me, you never question when something good happens to you, so why are you questioning when something bad happens to you? I, I feel you need to move. Movement is medicine and just keep doing the things that you enjoy doing. The norm is to get angry when people say certain things, whatever, but they honestly don't know. Tracy is the flyest girl with MS that I know. Oh, it always has been important to me because I feel better when I look better. That's just my thing. And when I say look better, not to other people, but look at my, when I, how I feel myself when I look in the mirror. I'm Shannon Martin and I am married. I have four children. Shan and I both grew up in Akron, and she is the younger sister of a very good friend of mine. But we never knew that we would have the same story. I was diagnosed in 2008 with MS. Um, mentally, I started doing things I just normally would not do. Um, I was having some issues walking and keeping my balance. I was depressed. I was zoning out. My youngest daughter says to me, Mommy, my dad called and you were staring at the closet. I said, well, when was that? Got all my, my work, my blood work and all the results back. And sure enough, it was multiple sclerosis. I declined, I was on a, um, a cane. I was on maybe three different shots over a six year time span because my body got used to it and, stopped, and the medicine stopped working. What I discovered 
is that I have to keep moving. That, I mean, that was just an awakening for me. And my white blood cell count was like really low. So they wanted to try me on Abagio. Yeah, he had to call me in July and say, you need to come in. We haven't seen you. Why haven't we seen you? I said, because I'm good. Multiple sclerosis, it will take over you and control you if you allow it. Um, but you can't. You can't allow it. You can never allow it. My name is Connie Wells. I'm a mother of five and a grandmother of four. My life is my family and God. My MS story is pretty different than the people. It's, uh, it's actually kind of funny. I woke up one morning and I had lost my vision from the horizon line up. Of course, as any person, you start thinking, I'm dying. So the doctor's appointment was made. My husband and I went into the doctor's and we sat there and this neurologist put his arms on the desk real serious and he leaned forward to me. He said, I have really bad news for you. He goes, you have multiple sclerosis. And I go, that's great. And he said, do you understand what I'm saying? And I said, I absolutely do. I said, you told me I'm not dying. Anything else is gravy. Everybody's track with MS is different. Um, day by day, listen to your doctors, listen to yourself and just live life to the fullest. It's a short life. She looks great. She has really no um, no visible signs that, that, that are physical. Every time you see Kai, she always has a smile. And it always made me feel really good. Because life with MS is so unpredictable, the one thing solid in my life is my faith and my family. I guess that's two things. So that's how I attack multiple sclerosis. I decide to face it with faith and not fear. It's unpredictable. You don't know how it's gonna act. I've had, um, with the use of steroids, different medications, my vision came back. I've lost it in one eye completely at times. It's come back. I've had days where I've been immobile. I've had tingling and pain in my legs. My husband's been very gracious to keep me at home. Um, where I can stay home with my kids and get enough rest and take care of myself, which is a big part of MS. Because of people who have been following multiple sclerosis or making donations or contributing, the drugs they've developed over the years have become more and more and better and better. Read, read the information, read what's out there. There's so many options out there for treatment and keep moving. So you see everybody does have a story. More stories will be told as more survivors emerge. Why do I continue? to share my inner self. I do it for the generations to come. I do it for the others that will be diagnosed. But you see, it's not just them. We need your help as well. With your support, with your love, with your donations, we can continue this fight. But it's gonna take us together. You see, everybody has a story. We wanna make sure that we find a cure someday for multiple sclerosis.